Yo, and we back on this trash ass game. And today I'm finna be giving y'all a guard academy. So make sure y'all have y'all pen, y'all paper, and be noting everything down, no cap. Cause I'm finna give y'all a dribble tutorial. I'm finna give y'all the best jump shots in this game. I'm finna give y'all the builds, shooting tips, everything. So make sure y'all got y'all pen and paper. But only thing I need y'all to do though is like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Cause we're gonna roll to 3K subscribers. But anyway, we're finna get straight into the video. Like I said, like and subscribe right now. Like, why are you watching the video and you haven't subscribed yet? I'm gonna have them steppers really pull up on you. Cause if the fake game pull up, it's gonna be bad for you. But we're finna get straight into this shit. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing y'all is the best guard builds on the game. So this is the first guard build right here. I'm gonna let y'all check it out. Now, just in case if you ain't like the last build, I got another guard build for you. Now, this guard build right here, this one, you get a higher three ball. You get a higher ball handling. And you sacrifice some shit, but, like, it's whatever one you want to pick type shit. <laughs> it's, it's up to y'all. But both of these guard builds is tough, no cap. Y'all can make a few adjustments and shit. If y'all got any questions, too, let me know down in the comments. Like, if y'all got, like, any questions with y'all build or help making y'all build and shit, just let me know down in the comments. But I'm going to let y'all look at this and go and copy it down. Now here's the first jump shot right here. Now if you a comp guard, y'all instantly know that this Patty Mills base is OD. Like niggas shooting over niggas' heads, niggas shooting from wherever they want to shoot from. No cap. You could be at the other three point line and green that bitch with this Patty Mills base. Like if y'all not SS3 already, I got a jump shot for y'all. But if y'all is SS3, this the jump shot to use. There's no other jump shot to use but the Patty Mills, bro. Now for the ones who not SS3, this jump shot right here is for you. No cap. Like, this the best jump shot if you're not SS3. I used to be using this jump shot, and I used to be going crazy. I don't want a lot of games using this jump shot. If you don't believe me, y'all can check out my old videos before I even had Patty Mills, before I hit SS3. This jump shot right here was saving me, no cap. Like, so when I get open, I'm green at me. I was hitting contested shots with this shit, all type of shit. Y'all think I'm lying? Just go and look at my older videos. But I got another jump shot for y'all, too. If y'all can't get this one, I got another jump shot for y'all. Here got a jump shot right here. Now, this jump shot right here... Before I hit SS3 and I was like playing Rick and like 3v3 Pro-Am, 5v5 Pro-Am, this the jump shot I was using. You can use this shit in park too because it's still chicken, but like when I used to be in Rick and Pro-Am and shit like that, this jump shot was tough. You can use this shit in stage, bro. <laughs> Every jump shot I gave you is chicken in stage. Y'all gotta put that shit on. But like, y'all comment down below what y'all think the best jump shot is and also let me know if y'all can't get these jump shots. And this the controller sends right here for the shot time and you want to either use release or push both of them good to me i use release sometimes i use push sometimes but right now i'm been on release no cap been heavy on release if y'all use push y'all still can go crazy with it but like set point and jump if you use that shit i don't know what to tell you like you might got a hammer on your head if you use that shit and for your meter take that shit off why you got your jump shot meter on like let me know give me a good reason why you got your jump shot meter on Next thing you want to do is go and get your hot zones and shit. I think I told y'all this in the last video. Make sure you do the glitch with your friend. Tell your friend and just sit there. Do not guard you. Get your hot zones red all around the court. After that, you want to go to the um the little shooting gym with Lethal Shooter. 
And then that's when you want to get your lethal zones. I think only can do like two lethal, I mean, two hot zones each week. Yeah, if, if I'm wrong, y'all correct me in the comments. But I think it's like two hot zones each week, some shit like that. But yeah, go on and do that. Once y'all do that, I'm telling you, once your shit lethal, you not missing. If you missing with lethal, then just go on and delete the game. Like go on and play Roblox or Elden Ring or some shit. Cause this game not for you if you missing with that. No cap. But yeah, what you want to do is go and get your hot zones and shit. Just tell your friend, do not be trolling. Cause Telling you, it's a lot of niggas that be already just trolling and shit, playing around. That shit gonna take y'all all day. You see, I'm shooting 100% from the field goal, because if you is missing, it's gonna take you longer to get your eyes on. So make sure you put them jump shots on that I just gave y'all. Trey boy, oh my goodness. Next thing I'm gonna be showing y'all is the dribble moves and the dribble settings. Now, for your pro stick function, make sure this on dribble moves. Do not change that shit, because like, if y'all trying to do like a um, misdirection behind the back, it make you do a step back. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, if y'all on a smart guard and shit. But here go the dribble moves right here. Make sure y'all copying everything down. My pass style is on none, but y'all couldn't put that pass style on Tyrese Halliburton. But make sure y'all copy about everything I got. Motion style, I do got Kyrie Irving for the motion style and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all some shit y'all can change around. Like the escape moves, you can change it from Trey Young and put it on Kimba Walker. I use Trey Young. It don't matter what you use. Niggas use like Trey Young because they say like you can L2 cancel better with and shit. Like it don't matter what you use for. You can use Trey Young or Kim Walker. For the motion style, you can use the Aaron Fox or you can use Kyrie Irving. Shit, I use Kyrie. It's some other motion styles and other like shit you can change too. But that's the main shit for real, no cap. Now I know some of y'all probably be wondering like how niggas don't be losing their stamina and shit. Like, how y'all be dribbling so much? What you want to do is go right here to the Gatorade facility. You see my workout unavailable because I already did this shit. But you want to get three stars or four stars on each fucking workout. Once you done with that, next thing you want to do is go ahead over here to the Gatorade um, little station shit. And you want to buy this Gatorade right here. That's the one you want to get. You're going to have a double stamina bar. Thank me later. Next thing you want to do is go and get some jump shot boost. I know it's a lot of people that be saying like they don't use jump shot boost. They still be greening. That's true. It's a, it's a lot of games I didn't play without jump shot boost, and I still was going crazy. But I'm telling you, with this jump shot boost, niggas really gonna think you have a titan. They gonna be like, oh, bro, got his in all the time. You don't even got his in, bro. You shooting with square. They gonna be like, what monitor you use? Like, bro, choke my ass on, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, after that, y'all wanna go and get some playmaking boost. A lot of people don't use playmaking boost, but I use that shit. So go and get it. Next thing we getting into is the dribble tutorial. I'm gonna make a part two. Y'all don't gotta let me know. I already got y'all. I got y'all the part two. I'm gonna uh, like show like different combos and shit. This right here, I'm just gonna be just showing y'all the moves. So once y'all get done with this, y'all gonna be ready for part two when I start showing y'all how to combo up and shit. So make sure y'all subscribe right now while y'all at it. All right, we finna go and get straight into this shit. I ain't got a hand cam, but I'm gonna add a controller to the screen and shit. And then I'm gonna put like some arrows for y'all to know what I'm talking about. But like, the first move we finna get into is the fat stop. Y'all can call it the left stick crab, whatever y'all wanna call it. It don't matter. But um, this move right here, I'ma try to explain this shit the best I can. If you got the ball in your right hand, right? And you run it up the court, make sure your left analog stick is facing up. You can do this with turbo or without turbo. So when you run up the court, right? Make sure your left stick, your left analog stick is facing up cause you going forward. When you're going forward and the ball is in your right hand, make sure you flick your left stick diagonally down to the left to your opposite ball hand. That's all you gotta do. That shit easy. Like, go and practice that for like two minutes. You're gonna get it real fast, man. Only thing you gotta do is, when it's in your left hand, just do the same thing to the right type shit. You feel me? Now, for the next move, we got it is the misdirection behind the back. Now, for the misdirection behind the back, to do this move, only thing you wanna do is hold R2, right? When y'all hold R2, see if the ball is in your right hand. You want to hold your right analog stick diagonally down to the left. And you want to hold your left analog stick diagonally up to the right. Once you done with that, I ain't going to lie. You low-key can just spam that shit. You can combo up with and everything. I'll teach y'all some combos on my next video. So make sure y'all have y'all know these on. Stay tuned and shit. We finna go and get to the next dribble move, though. For the next move we got is the Steve Francis left to right. Now, for this move right here, see if the ball is in your right hand. Only thing you want to do is just flick your right analog stick to the left. Do not hold turbo yet. Only thing you want to do is just flick your right and left stick to the left until you get the Steve Francis animation. Once you do that, then you want to hold uh, R2 and you want to hold your left and analog stick to the left side because that's the way you're going. Once you do that, you get into that animation. You want to let go everything and flick it to the right. And then you want to hold your left and analog stick and hold it to the right where you're going with holding R2. Now for the next move we got is the snatch back. Now for the snatch back, only thing you want to do is just hold R2 and flick your right analog stick down. 
It's the easiest move that I think I got on the list. That's it. That's all you got to do. Next move we got is the between the legs spam. Now this move right here, this easy too. Now only thing you doing, I say if you if the ball is in your right hand, right? Only thing you doing is holding R2, you flicking your left analog stick down, and you flicking your right analog stick to the left. So it's R2, right analog stick to the left, and left analog stick down. And then when they like do the move to the left, then you want to just flick your right analog stick to the right. So you just doing right, left, right, left, right, left. But you got to still be holding R2 with your left analog stick down. That's it. The next move we got is the Jamal Murray behind the back. Some people probably don't know how to do this, so I'm still trying to like put this out there. But I know a lot of y'all already know how to do this move. So if y'all already know how to do this move, just go on and skip past it. Y'all don't got to look at this part. But yeah, if y'all want to learn how to do this Jamal Murray behind the back, only thing you want to do is a very easy move. You just hold R2 and flick. See if the ball is in your right hand. Hold R2, flick the right analog stick diagonally down to the left. That's all you're doing. Now for the next move, you got the left stick cancel, not the L2 cancel. You talking about the left stick cancel. Like, the left stick cancel, I feel like this is way better than the L2 cancel to me. But like how to do the left stick cancel, first thing you want to do is just speed boost. Now if you don't know how to speed boost, only thing you're doing is just with your right and left stick, flick your right and left stick diagonally up to the left while holding R2. Now once you do that, what you want to do with your left stick is flick it up, right? Once you flick up, you want to uh, not flick your right and left stick diagonally to the right and hold R2. But you still got to be holding R2 while you're doing everything. You do not let go R2. And once you do that, that's how you do the left stick cancel. But make sure you flick up and go to the left side. Like, say if the ball in your right hand, make sure you flick up and go to the left side. Like, soon you doing a running animation. Don't let don't let it get all the way into the animation. Like, soon you finna run to that left, hurry flick it to the right. Tell you shit. Now for the next move, we got the left, right spam. I be doing up the court. Like y'all be seeing me do that shit a lot. Now for this move, this move is very easy. You not holding turbo, you not doing that. Only thing you doing is just holding your left analog stick. Now with your left analog stick, only thing you doing, if the ball is in your right hand, flick it diagonally up to the left, and then flick it diagonally up to the right. You just spam it. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That's all you doing. And here goes some clips right here. I'm going to just show y'all this gameplay footage. I would show y'all something in stage, but like this was yesterday. Oh my God, why they dropping trade ball? This was yesterday. I was streaming and we went on a 36 game winning streak. But like a tip for y'all is uh, I say like play more stage to get better. Play rank pro am, uh, 5v5 pro am. Uh, what else you can do? Like, just, like, play play stage, play pro am and shit. That can help you get better with your dribbling and comp competition and shit. You see, I died, bro, in the corner. Shade ball, we was going crazy. No cap. Shout out KJ. Shout out my nigga mate. Like I was saying, yeah, play stage, play pro am. Find you a good team. If you a guard, if you looking at the guard academy, find you a good lock, find you a good big. Go on stage and drop them niggas off, bro. You can't be scared. That's what majority of y'all be losing because y'all be scared of these niggas. And the majority of the time, these niggas be ass. Like, y'all can really drop these niggas off. One thing niggas doing is spamming square. Like, when y'all start learning how to dribble and, like, knowing when to shoot and shit like that, bro, y'all gonna be good. I don't know why niggas keep schooling back off me, trade boy. Like, <laughs> these niggas retarded. But, yeah, like, when y'all start learning how to shoot in stage, do not overkill type shit. You can overkill sometimes if you know, like, uh, you got to learn your defender. So if you know, like, the lockdown, he playing a little snatch back, go straight to the left shoot. If the lockdown going to chase you, then you want to overkill and shit. You feel me? Another thing, too, to tell y'all is, like, no one and shoot and be confident in your shot because a lot of y'all, they be on the side of y'all. Like, right there, that's a W shot. Y'all probably want to shoot that. But I'm telling you, when you start shooting shots like that, bro, <laughs> you're going you gonna to be tough, no cap. You got to start shooting shit like that. I be trying to tell y'all in my videos, like, bro, a nigga on the side of you, like, when you do a snatch back in the corner and a nigga, like, slide, shoot that shit every time. Niggas ain't gonna be able to guard you, bro. Because majority of y'all, y'all overkill and shit because y'all think, like, oh, this nigga gonna get a contest. Like, right there, that's a trade ball. You can shoot over niggas' heads, bro. And it's not just with Patty. If you got if you got Stephen Curry base or KPJ base, it don't matter what base you got. If a nigga on the side of you, you still can green that bitch. It don't matter if you got Patty Mills or whatever base you got, bro. Another thing I'm going to tell y'all is, like, certain jump shot celebrations make you miss. And you got some jump shot celebrations that make you green a lot. 
Y'all probably thinking I'm capping, but this shit true as hell. Like, if you don't believe me, that's on your ass, bro. I'm gonna let you figure that shit out. <laughs> I'm gonna let you figure that shit out. But, like, certain jump shot celebrations make you green. Or you see, I'm greening that bitch from right there. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Like, you gotta be confident in your shot. A lot of y'all niggas probably won't even shot that shit. But another thing, too, is, like, don't, don't 300 a lot. You know, y'all probably see me 300. But, like, if I'm playing against some real competition and shit, y'all gonna see me take twos, and then I'm gonna go and start going for three. You gotta break niggas' defense up. If you see niggas playing size, doubling, tell your big to go drop, bro. Because <laughs> some bigs, like, the bigs this year is dumb as hell. On my life, niggas dumb. I never seen so many trash bigs, and I've been playing this shit for a minute, bro. Niggas can't set screens. Niggas don't wanna drop. Like... <laughs> Niggas be retarded on this bitch, bro. Hell, man. Like, Y'all know what I'm talking about if you a guard. I, I already know your pain, bro, because I'm a guard. And I know how that shit is, bro. But you see, I go straight over here. I'm finna cook this nigga. Nick can't guard me. But yeah, like, if you a guard, bro, make sure you got a good team. Make sure you got a good lock and a good big. And you you set. You in stage with it. That's all you need. No cap. Oh, my God. Trey ball. And I just got a leg spike. I know y'all seen that shit. <laughs> That's just one game. I'm going to show y'all one more game. Here go another game right here. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. I got way more dribble moves than that. Like, I got to still show y'all how to L2 cancel. I got to show you how to do the um between the legs spam. I got to show you how to do the momentum. Not not that between the legs spam that I already showed y'all. I'm talking about the between the leg momentum spam type shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to give y'all that in a uh, combo tutorial. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Like I said, make sure y'all have your notifications on and shit. You see, I already didn't got a trade ball. I'm about to go and get another one. Where the fuck he going? They didn't make me pull up for a midi and shit. I was trying to shoot the three, bro, but they made me pull up for the midi. Hey, y'all, fuck with that mask. Got that little Chewbacca shit, whatever that shit is, bro. Like, I'm thinking about buying a little pad shit just for the goggles and the mask up, but I'm like, damn. Do I really want to spend $20 on that? And it's like, nah. <laughs> That's a crazy-ass investment, bro. Like, I don't know why I'm spending money on this game still. Hell no, nah, fuck all that. <laughs> you see, this nigga reaching and shit. Nigga can't hold me. I done picked up the ball and shit. I'm thinking he finna like uh drop. So I'm like, I can shoot that bitch. Not the big, I'm thinking about the bending the bull thing. I'm thinking the bending the bull nigga finna drop so I can shoot that bitch. But that nigga ain't get back off me. <laughs> yeah, ain't like he got that one. But you know, uh another tip for y'all too, do not change y'all jump shot a lot. Cause you ain't gonna never know the time and when y'all keep on changing y'all jump shot like oh y'all i know y'all probably be on tiktok and shit or uh y'all probably be looking at youtube shorts or different youtube videos y'all keep changing y'all jump shot stop doing that bro if you missing with a jump shot all right just keep on using it and i see if you changed it like once or twice type shit but you know it's some niggas that be out here that be changing they shit a hundred different times like so when they shoot bad one game they change it they go into the next game they shoot good they shoot bad they change it they go into the next game, they shoot bad, they change it. They go into the next game, they shoot good, and they shoot bad, and they change it. Like, bro, keep the same jump shot on, and let's see how it work, bro. You just changing your jump shot. That shit is wild. Oh, yeah, I got a PlayStation group chat, too. It's called a fake game. I, I think I got, like, 30-some members in there so far. If y'all want to join, just let me know. But if y'all on Xbox, what the fuck? Hey, man, you missed that dunk. I ain't gonna lie, you wild as hell. <laughs> Let's start there, nigga. You missed that dunk, nigga. You bogus as hell for missing that shit, nigga. The fuck wrong with him? You over whooping right now, nigga. Like, you don't miss that shit? How the fuck you missed that fucking dunk? <laughs> wild open ass dunk, too. That thing, like, your attributes should drop after that. You watching this shit, man? Like, how you missed that dunk, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god where the fuck he going trade ball and y'all gotta know when to do the moves too that's another tip i give y'all well, gotta know when to do the moves bro like if you're running up the court right and the lock is playing your hip why the fuck are you doing it behind the back bro? you know he gonna steal that shit <laughs> i ain't gonna lie if you'd have missed that shit i would have got on your head but yeah like i was saying bro if you're running up the court and the lock playing your hip why are you doing it behind the back you know you're gonna steal the, steal the ball so like majority oh my god Nah, that's wild. Like, I might got to get in the paint myself, bro. <laughs> I might got to get in the paint myself, bro. I ducked the corner and shit. Trey, boy, he lighting that bitch up. I even got taken shit. But, yeah, majority of the time, if the lock playing my hip and I'm running up the court, I just run straight to the corner, and I know they going to reach, and I just shoot. I won't even overkill after that. I run straight to the corner and shoot that bitch, Trey, boy. This nigga with the being the bull outfit going off. Hey, chill the fuck out, little nigga. Fuck you going crazy for, nigga. <laughs> 
Nigga trying to go off and shit. Nigga dunking on niggas, shooting and shit. All type of crazy ass shit. He can't guard me, though. Look, I'm waving niggas off tray ball. What the fuck? You can't hold me, little bro. <laughs> Busting this nigga ass. But like I said, bro, I got, if you want Xbox, just join my Discord. No cap. And that's the end of the video. If you made it this far to the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you knew we on a road to 3K subscribers. Like I said, I do got a combo tutorial coming soon. But y'all let me know in the comments what other videos y'all want to see. Y'all comment down right now. Enjoy my Discord. I got a link down below. And also, y'all follow my Instagram at Who Love Run. Yes, sir. Follow my Instagram, Who Love Run. I just, I, you already know I just made it, bro. Yeah, it ain't my old Instagram account. It's my new Instagram account. But it's your boy Zefe, Fay Gang, and I'm out, gang.